Hello! And welcome to Inside the Recording Studios Friday Finds uh, number 17, I think it is, right? Something like 17. That. Something yep. like that. Anyway, this is the little episode that Chris and I do each week on Friday mornings at 10 a.m. to tell you about something that we have discovered in the past week that we think you should know about for either your recording or writing pleasure or also mixing and mastering pleasure, but we really haven't done a whole lot of those yet. Yeah. So let's get started. We're going to kick it off with, as we usually do, with Chris. All right. So this week I have another thing from Plugin Alliance. Uh-oh. Brainworks, because they came out with another angle emulation. Oh, boy. The Savage 120. <laughs> and uh, it's... Is it like, Savage? Oh, yeah, it de definitely is. Uh, I've talked before about certain amps, like the Fuchs and things that I mentioned in the past that are... Um, filling a certain void that I might have had in my arsenal. This one is squarely... <laughs> you don't mean your life? <laughs> it's all in the same, isn't it? Uh, it you should know? be, yes. Yeah. Um, this one, I would say it's not like it exclusively is that, but this one is firmly planted in the high gain sort of category. Your favorite category, uh, I think. My favorite category, even if I don't necessarily recall a whole lot of metal i i mm. do enjoy listening to it but yeah this one is uh, a beast of an amp um as with all brainworks plug-in alliance stuff i really really like it uh with a name like savage 120 you kind of don't expect like a jazz amp right so wow. uh this is really really cool it's super high gainy stuff as always a boatload of different uh recording chains um in this one and it's just what else can I tell you? It just it sounds really, really good. I mean, Plugin Alliance <laughs> should really put me on their payroll. But um kind of sounds like it. Yeah, I really, really enjoy their stuff. And this one is no different. Uh the Savage 120 is my pick. Oh the week. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. And what about you, Jody? What you got for us? I'm going with a synthesizer this week. Ooh. Only because I actually started exporting tracks of stuff I had done. About a year ago, <laughs> yeah, because I'm working on some some behind the scenes kind of deal stuff. But <clears throat> one of the tracks that I was working on that I had just exported yesterday included the Hans Zimmer version of the Zebra by U H E or U dash H E because we have actually talked about their products in the past and how that should be pronounced. So U E or Hey, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you he, yeah. You he. Um, the Zebra HZ came out. And what makes it a little bit more special than the standard Zebra is that it was customized for Mr. Hans Zimmer. Um, actually, it was customized for him and someone else. But I, I don't rightly recall his name. It starts with an H as well. Um and I guess they kind of now call it the Dark Zebra because apparently yeah. this was used like extensively on the Dark Knight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Dark but Zebra. The big thing about the Zebra HZ is that it's almost like got twice the capacity of what the normal Zebra is in terms of like things that you can do with it. So or the number of things you can have going on simultaneously. And as we were kind of discussing things before we hit the play and record button, uh, mm -hmm. you made the joke that it's supposed to instantaneously make you sound like Hans Zimmer or be as good as Hans Zimmer, especially if you want to be a composer. Now, if that's the case, that would be a screaming deal, right? Wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So yeah. um, while I did not use his preset in the track that I had exported yesterday, I did remember that it's like, hey, this is actually a pretty cool synth. I need yeah. to start looking at it a bit more. So, yes, uh, I go through phases where it's like certain synths I start using a lot, and then I forget about other ones, and then I start using those, and then I remember other ones that I previously used, and then I go back and go, ah, yes, I remember why I use this now. 
<laughs> yeah, I think so, we all do that. It's a good luxury to have, isn't it? It is a good yeah. luxury to have. I'm not going yeah. to complain about it. So yeah. the, my pick of this week is, or my Friday find, I should say, is the Zebra HZ by Yuhe, 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 U-H-E. <laughs> Urs Heckman, let's just call it that. Urs yeah. Heckman, yes. Yeah. So very cool. Yeah. So that's our that those that's where we're at for this week. And uh for all those out there who are watching this on YouTube, two hours from now, the podcast release and the YouTube version of that podcast release. So we will see you 